And you can believe me when I say there's no more ardent an advocate for the war bow than myself. However, even I am willing to admit, well-made plate at the time is going to stop a bow every time. Todd's workshop with Joe Gibbs. Joe Gibbs is a much stronger, much better archer than myself, and even he with his bow was unable to penetrate the plate. I've done similar tests with the steel helm, which is the closest I'm going to get to it because I don't want to ruin this. And that is gonna punch it a little bit, but it's not gonna go through. Finding those gaps. There's gonna be chainmail there and a gameson, but as you've seen here, there's no problem punching through that at all. It's really important to understand the actual weight to a battle that an armored knight on a horse had. Think of Master Chief, think of any sort of super soldier or anything. It was the closest to a super soldier that you have at the time. If you're a well-mounted knight, you're really gonna be relatively safe from a direct arrow strike. 